Kimmer, Kimmer. Oh, the baby and the Jaeger guy. It was annoying. There was those two girls there helping him escape. Great. At least Flynn's saving everyone else, but... <sighs> Teagle saved. We got back to his family. So that village seems to be okay so far. Yuri, Repeat, Esty, Judith, Carol, and Rita coming back. We're still on the journey. And welcome back to TG Gaming and Tales of Vespria. On our way to our next destination we go. Where to next? I'm not good at navigating, so I'll try my best. East. That's left. Okay, we're gonna go east. So that's gonna be on the left side, because west is right. Alright then. We're on to the next destination to find those guys who are escaping. Then get a bow. Okay then. I wonder why my bag works so well when I hit enemies with it. <laughs> huh? You don't know how your own bag works? Yeah, not really. Surely <laughs> the bag just has a high level of air conductance. Air conductance? It's a measure of how easily something carries air. The air produced when you use strike arts must be easily conducted through that bag. So that's why enemies get like weaker when I ability? hit them with my bag? Exactly. It's the same as with my belt. Different people have different items that huh. carry air for them more easily. Makes sense. Wow, interesting. Thanks, Rita. Yeah. You sure don't know much about your own possessions. I guess I better take good care of my bag. <laughs> Well, if you know what you're doing, that's fine. Okay, east, so that's left. Tend to head left. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna battle. All right, onward, come on. And train. Don't worry, if anything, you can use your tent to par camp here to rest up easily for your HP and move the TP. Battle, and it's still upgrade at the same time. Oh, la, 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 la. Just beat him senseless, and you'll win. Uh, well. Depending how you... Oh, right, they head this way. Depending how you do it, I guess it's okay. I've never said anything wrong with that. Alright, east. Follow the compass of shows. The point of the east is where it goes. <laughs> Come on! Alright. We can get there. East. No, wait. This, this way, there's a bridge. Okay, here we go. Alright, east we go. I'm not really good at navigating and stuff and knowing measurements and heights and leaps. Length. The only thing I can try to remember is east is left, definitely. Yeah, or is it right? East is right. It's not that I don't want it to be. I'm just saying. Direction wise, I'm trying to get used to. Oh! What's this? There's no sign of them. Looks like they ended up getting away. Again. Are we gonna find them and kick their asses so they won't do anything like that in the village? Again! But that's our job. Where are we anyway? A forest in central Tobikia. If I'm right, Torum Harbor is east of here. Torum Harbor in the central Tobikia. We should probably just get to the harbor part. rather than going back to Heliord. That's probably good idea. Have the ports of a lot of boats in the ocean side. What? But what about Q Moore? Do we just let him go? I thought the purpose of your journey that. was to find Pharaoh. Well, I. Well, I true. Wasn't the brave Vesperia was formed to follow your random whims. I I'm sorry. That was never my intention. Oh, she's just telling you to relax. Besides, Flynn's on the scene, right? You can be sure he'll take care of things. Anything with Flynn does, he can be very trustworthy. Hey, Pharaoh, Brave Vesperia, start explaining. Oh, Rita, we got some explaining to do for you. Just about to ask the same questions myself. Why the hell took you so long, Raven? Welcome what? back. What's wrong, Miss Genius Mage? Forget me already. It's me, Raven the Great. I wouldn't say great. Who the hell do you... I told you, Raven the Great. Man, you're a scary little kid, you know that? <laughs> so, what are you up to? With all the stuff you've been doing, poor Raven got sent all the way out here to keep an eye on you. Why would they do that? Really? First things first, let's go find an inn at Torum Harbor. I'll tell you everything there. Good Raven's idea. Raven's pretty hungry, you see. I suppose there's no point in hanging around here. <laughs> Torum Harbor is a good first step. Torum Harbor, then. Would that be all right? Yes, 
Of course. I promise, when we get those guys to find again, if they do anything wrong, we'll kick their asses twice as hard. They couldn't even sit for months. Or, or, or something. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be selfish. It was an accident. You didn't do anything wrong wrong. Okay, let's go. Come on! Music to my ears. Welcome back, Raven. Speaking of which, can we see how much you're doing? Yeah, same level. Oh, right. We'll see how you're doing from here. You need anything upgraded? No, I guess not. I'm so hungry. So far, the group's back. Tired really? one. The girls look like they're doing fine. <laughs> Was that Estelle? Listen, her stomach's rumbling too. I can wait. Though it's been a little difficult. Hmm? That sounded like it came from Rita. Uh. Judy, you too? Are you trying to see who can hold out the longest? Perhaps a diet is a little bit like a competition in holding out. A diet? What do you need a diet for? Especially you, Rita. Lose any more weight and you'll... I'm just waiting until I finish reading this book, okay? Oh, that's the story you want to hear. Sorry, wrong button. <laughs> this looks easy. I guess I'll go easy on them. Bring it on! The more upgrades, the better. And I need some moolah, too, and level up. I hope Flynn comes back to the group. The sign of victory! Okay. Yay! Good job. I'm not done yet. <laughs> well, let's see, I think it's this one, right? Yep. Get ready. I'm taking you down. Going downtown school, bro. Woo! <laughs> Alright, right around here. Long time no see. Silky jingle. I know we haven't been gone for long, but I have to say, it still feels good to be back. And a nice good music with us for weather. some tissues, or can we go to the inn now? I'm so hungry. <laughs> alright, alright. Alright, we're gonna shop, recover, and then save. Let's make sure we got anything good. I can't take it anymore. I'm seriously gonna starve. Can I eat a gel? No. Ah. Does, does the pooch look a little scary to anyone else? Oh, uh, he's probably just hungry enough for his wild instincts to kick in. Ha! <sighs> the pooch isn't the only one about to go wild. I'm no good at diets, seriously. This isn't a diet, it's a fast. Why do we have to stop eating, too? We can't have delicious smells just wafting by. We're just as hungry as you are. Ah, uh, what a tyrant. Poor. Ouch. That's a little harsh. <laughs> what the? What's up with you, lady? How strange! What's the matter? The Shangamalus flower are only supposed to open during the rainy se season. Yet, look! They're already in full bloom. That sounds pretty weird. I know, right? I was one. I wonder if someone be been coming here and watering the ground or something. Would just that be enough to make these flowers bloom? Jude, what's going on? Another cause of flowers blooming early could be an... an Implant plants in the air. So you're saying that this place is okay, even if my guess is right. This level of air in, in it can obviously be found in nature. Plants are imp simply more sensitive to changes in the surrounding air than humans, and they're reacting to that. We wouldn't have wanted it have to happen to in the her her Helidor happening here. Uh, yeah. What the Judy? Ah, the warehouse era Blasio is! I can't believe that dragon freak would do this again! I'm going to see uh, Oh Rita? Uh, dragon freak, uh What's all the commotion about? Huh? It wasn't you? The plead of filth. I plead of filth. Uh, what? It was terrible. There was nothing left for me to fix. 
I'm sorry for your lost. Ugh! The next time I see that freak, I'm going to punch him into the stratosphere. Stop it, dragon freak! Ooh, scary. I, I don't know what what you're trying to do, but it's not causing any of you any trouble, is it? I already told you. I'm not going to do anything that would cause any of you harm. <laughs> what? Uh, right. Can I find a shop now? Hey, do you mind if I have a gel? Carol, I don't really think you should eat those unless you need them. But I can't stop thinking about how good they taste. Or the smooshy way they feel between my teeth. I noticed we've had fewer gels lately. You've been snacking on them, haven't you? Oh. I want them so badly I can't sleep. And here you've been eating them while we weren't looking? I haven't been doing anything like that. Wait, Rita, you were losing sleep over gels? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> what are you talking about? They're not snacks, you know. They might be small, but they're pretty expensive. I can't say I like their taste or texture very much. Perhaps they're not too pleasing to a princess's palate. No, that's not it. I don't think they're that good either. I'm addicted to their simple taste. <laughs> you just don't get it. Gels were made sweet and soft, so they'd appeal to children after all. <laughs> are you saying my sense of taste is childish? <laughs> What's the matter with that? You are both children. Look, it's nothing to do with anything wrong with it. Everyone's addicted to something, it's just not formality. I don't even ask why. I don't know where I'm going. I thought I could find a shop, I fairly forgot. You know, it's probably a dead, but I like to look around here, don't I? Judith probably has reasons. Maybe it's ruining the ecosystem or something. Maybe that's why she's trying to destroy all the Blastia courts. I'll keep that to myself. Is this the shop? <sighs> yeah, that's why I fought. Hold on a second. Can I do anything here? Uh, probably not. Well, maybe a little. I don't know. I just do what I have to do. Huh. So there's no harm anyway. I just could do it. Alright, fine. At least I can get some gear now. You guys don't mind if I did that, right? One could never be too bad for the upcoming events. Oh. But I always hit the wrong button! <laughs> Alright, I'm stopping. Wait, am I at the right one? Oh, poopy. Oh. Fine, it looks like there's nothing there. I can get some stuff I can get only. Are you sure we're all set? Perfect, alright. Now we can do the stuff. Finally. I guess we'll get their items later, but more of a save the better. Okay. Alright, I'll do this just in case. I know, I said just in case. Yes, please. Off we go! Huh. So even the Union can't sit still when it knows a princess of the Empire is out on the loose. Again? Then the Dawn knows that I'm a candidate for the Imperial Throne, too. Yep. That's why he told me to come keep an eye on you. Huh. I still respect that. So you're here to observe her? That's kind of creepy. Creepy dicky. Really? What? Is it just me? Well, a little in between. Anyway, here I finally catch up with you, and I wind up sticking my foot in that mess back there. At least it's up in dog poop, but it did not step in dog poop. It hasn't been easy for old Raven. <laughs> but why worry so much about Estelle? It's only natural, considering the state of things between the Empire and the Union. Each side yeah. is trying to feel the other out. The Dawn just wants to keep track of their movements. So, you're all planning on looking for this pharaoh by going to the sands of Kogor. Yeah, Kimura was going to go there as well. Let's talk about that with Jaeger. Yes. 
Do you know what sort of place a desert is? I think I already recall where I might be at. Well, it's hot and dry, and they've got a lot of sand there. Hot in the day, kind of cooler in the night. That's putting it lightly. It's not as easy as all that, though. I know that as well. Our plan is to get to the area together first. And then? Then I guess we'll go around and ask where Pharaoh is. That's easier said than done. I don't even know where to begin commenting on that plan. So it's not just that you don't want to go back to the castle anymore, right? Um, well... It'd be easier on old Raven if you did, though. I'm just saying. No, I'm sorry, but I have to know the truth behind Pharaoh's words. Huh. Well, the Desier continent actually suits me just fine. Why is that? I've got to go to Nordopolica for another errand I'm running for the Don. The Don knows the Don at well, at least he's trustworthy. Have to deliver a letter to Bellius. Bellius? Whoa, that's pretty important. That's the boss of the Colosseum and ruler of Nordopolica, isn't it? Damn. Technically speaking, he's called the Duce. Duce? Do you know what's written in the letter? Hmm. It's got something to do with those monsters that attacked Dongris. Ah. In particular about that pharaoh chap you all are following. The Don thinks Bellius will know something about that monster. So there is a connection between what happened and the whole pharaoh creature. Looks like it just became worth our while to pay this Bellius a visit too. Hmm. Right. Yeah, something is up. We gotta figure it out soon. It may still come more. So if you don't mind, Raven here will just tag along with you. Not at all. The more the merrier. It's fine, but you'll have to follow the laws of Brave Vesperia. Welcome to the team, Rita, and Raven to the Brave Vesperia group of the Gill. Got it. It's not like I can go join in your guild, you know? You understand. Yeah, I think you will, but if you still got orders to do by the dawn, that's fine. Why can't you join Brave Vesperia? It's against the rules for anybody to be in two guilds at the same time. Theoretically, you're just running errands for most. Well, it kind of, it's just assisting. And I guess, technically speaking, you are a member of Altosk. What do you mean, technically? So, are we done? I'm gonna go get some rest then. Okay. Okay. What? What do you think Rita's gonna do? Hmm. What indeed? Does this mean we're on our own until we leave tomorrow? Yeah, we'll all meet down at the harbor then. Raven earned the, t the old spy title. <laughs> I again parted. Well, I mean, it's not going to be wrong to just, you know, we're all going to stick together. We're our team either way. We don't have to really be fine. We're just going to help one another. Right, Carol? What's the matter, boss? Mmm. I don't know if I like you calling me that. <laughs> the boss is the boss. What would you have me calling you instead? Just call me whatever you called me before. This boss thing seems a little over the top. Yeah. It makes me feel silly to have you calling me that. <laughs> don't you think you'll get used to it? Well, maybe. Well, you know way more about guilds than I do, right? I guess. The boss of a guild has to stand as a role model for everyone else. I wonder if I could be that great of a person. I think you are. Come on, it's not like you're expected to be the best boss ever from the very beginning. You can take it a little at a time. For now, our guild has a job to complete. You're right. First we need to take Estelle to meet Pharaoh. But do you think we'll be able to meet him? And find a boat that across the other side of the desert? Our guild's job is to figure out a way to meet him. If we can't meet him, we won't get our reward. And people will lose confidence in our abilities. Yes. That's all there is to it. I think we may have picked something a little too tough for our first job. It's more of a challenge that way, and our reward will be that much bigger, too. Let's make the best of it. Yeah. Yeah. Talking time. <laughs> I'm going to someone's room. I'm just looking around, Rita. Don't worry, I'm not going to be here for long. Ah, uh, we were here before, though. Good times. Everything changed for the better. Spooky and nighttime. Do you really plan on helping Estelle find that Pharaoh, whatever? Yeah, I guess so. It's just called Pharaoh. 
Didn't that thing say that Estelle was an insipid poison or something? It kind of did. Yeah, I heard. Yeah. After something like that, I guess you can't just tell her to forget about the whole thing. No. But it won't help her if she uses that as an excuse not to deal with the issue of the succession to the throne. Yeah, I'm worried that might happen. Hmm. What are you talking about? That's what is happening. Yeah, maybe. We get it. But... You're saying I should take her back to the castle? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You're worried about her, f your friend, right? It was her decision. We have to let her figure out what she should really do. Yeah. You realize it might come to blows with this Pharaoh guy, right? She won't get to figure out anything at all if she dies. She's not gonna die. That's why I'm going with her. Yeah. Ugh, have it your way then. You worry about her. Rita. Harsh. Harsh, 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 harsh. I said that I will deal with things in my way of doing, but I let Qmor escape that easily. What a shame. I don't know how I could explain this to Flynn. I know, I know. We have Guild's job to deal with rather than Qmor. Yeah, I just can't let him loose. Men of his kind will never learn and will always repeat the same thing forever. I'll have to do something. I left the Empire and formed a guild for this kind of purpose. I thought exactly, my friend. Heh, <laughs> <laughs> rest I repeat. He will get what he deserves. Even if you have to bite him in the ass. Well, not literally. <laughs> Nasty. I'm just incorrigible. Whenever something or someone catches my eye, I forget all about everything else. I really lose sight of everything I was planning on doing beforehand. Hmm? Yep, that's about right. I came to my senses after Judith told me. Until now, I've been dragging the rest of you around with me like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, it could be worse. If you were Empress, one word from you and the entire Empire would run off to do your bidding. Yeah. Hmm. I kind of feel like coming with you was the right choice. Yeah. Oh yeah? I've been able to see all sorts of new things. I still don't know whether I'm going to take the Imperial Throne, but there are still so many things left to learn about in this world. Learning. And Pharaoh's one of those things? It scares me to think about it, but I have to know who I am. I have to know what he meant by saying I was the insipid poison of this world. Yeah, that's kind of rude. It sounds like you've made up your mind. Yuri? Hmm? I might end up trying to order you guys around again. Next time I do that, yell at me, would you? <laughs> sure. It's not the sort of personality trait that's easy to fix by yourself. Though there's another guy who's also a tough nut to crack. Hmm. So I think we'll let him be the one we vent our frustration on. Well, I'm going back to the inn. I'll see you. Eh. And they're done now, do this, do that. Everything. Gee, Yuri, how much you can carry that thing around is beyond me. Yo, Raven. Uh, I can't believe we have to travel with you. Again, but I kinda like it. What? You ain't happy? Well, I'm not exactly jumping for joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. You're too glum. Lighten up. Didn't I stand together with you in the face of evil? That was only because you had to. I still haven't forgotten about what you did at Nor Harbor. You still remember that? Heh. <laughs> Some people just don't know when to give up. Who would not forget? I'm not about to make a list of all your offenses. Saying that I'd rather not have your company on our trip is already more than enough. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll be on my best behavior. I behaved myself at Cave Mock and Gasparos, didn't I? Yeah. yeah, that sure would be nice. 
What should worry you more is whether or not these old bones will be able to keep up with you youngins for much longer. You plan on sticking with us until Estelle goes back to the castle? The Don ordered me to keep an eye on the girl. I ain't got much choice in the matter. Hmm. Sounds like a tough job. I wonder if I could hand her over to the Imperial Knights somewhere. I can see it in your eyes, old man. You're thinking bad thoughts again. Hey. Nah, not at all. Well, it's really too bad that you're going to be traveling with us. But might as well make the best of it. What do you mean, really too bad? Hmm. Ah, well, whatever. Anyway, Raven the <laughs> Great is going back to the inn. Later, boy. <laughs> I have a name, you know. <laughs> Talking at the night time, knocking at the night of the harbor gate, a soon enough, pack and roll, and roll, and do 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 I can't go up there. Hey, where's Judith? 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 Where did she go? I could have sworn she could be around here somewhere. Judith! 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 Can't bed down! It's loud! It's nighttime! We're gonna go to sleep! Sorry! <laughs> Judith! You're not in there. Okay, I'm well. Shut <laughs> up, I'm kidding. Judith! You can see Judith repeat? No, I think not. It's okay. Thank you, though. Judith! Judith! Wait. You guys do it. Judith! I'll check the rooms again. If she's not there, I'm gonna go to bed. Of this game. <laughs> ah, she's just probably taking care of business real quick. Sure, I'll just... Ah, she's the only one, that's for sure. Like, Rita, I understand how you feel. Judith? Mm. Uh. I'll just save here just in case. Well, what else? How am I supposed to go to bed? Haha, <laughs> thank you. Bye. Uh, yeah. Let's not go to bed. Uh, who do I go to to go to bed? <sighs> it's nice, nice talking to everyone. So I just won. Beautiful! Oh, let me talk to the clerk. Well, where's Judith? Hang on, here it is. Judith is at the entrance of the port. Alright, I'll keep looking. Well, I wasn't going to give up. I was just seeing how to go to bed. And it looks like I still got a few things to take. Who thinks to take care of Judith? Come on, listen, I really gotta go to sleep. If you can come out here to talk to me for a little bit, it'll be great. She's, a, she's around here somewhere, I'll just gotta find her. Look at all the boats, though. Hey, nice, huh? Oh, the harbor? Harbor, harbor, where could she be? Judith! Judith! I'm pushing Willie to go to sleep first until you talk to everyone. Judith! 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 Where is she? Ocean waves. Get it. He fell the stairs, slide with the stairs. Not particularly. That's yeah, weird, the flowers 
She did something. Really? Oop. <laughs> I didn't really want to enter there much. At least one door works. Where is she? She's been around here somewhere. Judith! Hello! Where are you? Definitely not there. That's not Judith. Judith! Oh, there you are! Oh, look at you everywhere! Are you going to look for that Qmore guy by any chance? In the morning. Uh, just going on a walk. Where were you? Yeah, Best where were you? Walk like you? What you said to Estelle earlier hasn't been gnawing at you, has it? What I said earlier. Didn't you say some pretty harsh <laughs> things to Estelle? Yeah, kind of. Oh, I'm not bad right. with it. Sorry to beat you to the punch like that. What? You didn't beat me to the punch on anything. <laughs> you were going to tell her the same thing that I did, weren't you? What? You figured it out? You don't have to apologize for something like that. Nope. All right. So weren't you going off so to look for the more after part. feeling bad about hurting Estelle with what you said? Okay then. No, I wasn't. <laughs> you don't believe me? Never say you're a liar. You care for other people's feelings a lot more than you let on, I think. You really do. No, not at all. Well, whatever. <laughs> Besides, you dressed as a bunny girl. <laughs> Thanks for subduing that guard. We did. We did. It got distracted and knocked him out cold. What about you? <laughs> Aren't you going out to look for him? I told you already. I'm just going for a walk. Right. Walk. Really? <laughs> okay, finally I talked to everyone. Now we'll save the game again. Because <sighs> the next day of this game, once we go to sleep from the inn, we're heading out to find the Kumor, Yeager, and the other troublesome thing. Yeah. Yes, rest. Please. Ready to go? What should we do about Rita? That one has her own matters to attend to. Rita. That sounds about right. <laughs> so, first to the harbor and then find a boat? Ah, she's joining. <laughs> huh? You mean... Are you coming too? Yeah. Wasn't there something you had to go do? You were going to investigate the air crannier, weren't you? It turns out the one at Cave Mock the Commandant asked me to look into has already been researched. Oh, that's good. I hadn't really made up my mind about which route to take to research the others. So you'll be using us to help with your investigations? Well, there's no guarantee I won't run into trouble like back at Heliord. Anyway, it'll be safer for me this way than going alone. That's probably the best bet. She has an anger issue sometimes. Nice to see your glowing personality hasn't changed. This means we'll be able to travel together again. I'm so happy. Half the group's back so far. That's not that bad. I'll yeah, take it. I, um, you know, it's <laughs> a big deal. Oh, Rita. Anyway, we were going to the harbor, right? Yes. <sighs> We to need a boat. Young again, I tell you. To the seashore to get to the desert and find Pharaoh the bird. You got something you want to say? Oops. Whoa, down girl. <laughs> to the harbor then. She's not a dog, Raven. Reunite with everyone. Okay. Everyone's all set to go? I think so. Yeah, I think we're good. Oh. The two barrier blastia of this city and Nor Harbor were originally a single blastia. Did you read that in one of your books back in the castle? Yes. Actually, there were three pieces. The last piece sunk in the sea between the two cities. Atlantis? You could raise that blastia. And if you sold it, you could live like a king forever. The Empire would have already done it. Imagine him having the power to turn things into gold. That It'll be annoying. You don't have to be mean about it. <laughs> Sorry, now we save. To the harbor we go! But that would probably be... Shall we do it now, or... What do you guys think? Continue? Alright, we'll actually hold off for now. Alright, let's do that. 
Oh, this is gonna be fun. Alrighty, half the group's back. Hopefully, we'll find which one is soon, but if not, you know, we're just gonna get a boat. And until next time, all you tail fans out there, Tails of Vespria, we'll be back soon. All shores go to shore next time.